Welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. This week I decided to do something different. It's been a while since I did a book haul. So this is my first book haul for 2020. Some of the books that I purchased within the last few months due to Corona, there's no book events. As you know, all book events have been canceled to my knowledge. I just said, you know, I'm still going to support my author. So some, I reached out to the author and they signed and sent me my copy. And some, I've been going to the bookstores. Um, have a great bookstore here in Atlanta. Nibian Bookstore, Marcus Williams. Very good bookstore. He sells books, um, clothing, incense, a variety of things he sells. In his store so if you ever in Atlanta and you looking for books or something I highly recommend you visit Nibian bookstore it's in Monroe Georgia and awesome just an awesome store all the way around I'm just gonna get into it this book here I got from Nibian bookstore this is the latest by Eric Jerome Dickey, The Business of Lovers. It's it's a kind of, it's really a thick book. I haven't had a chance to read it, but I do look forward to reading this book simply because when I open it on page 206, I read just a little paragraph and I was like, oh wow. It was really out there. The next book is War two. I didn't have this in paperback. I have one, three, and four. And I lucky found this online, a reasonable price, and I got it. So now I need five, six, and seven to complete the series. This next book is a book I've been wanting ever since last year and just didn't get it. And I found a good price online, and that's well, George and Me is Andrew's biography, and I cannot wait to read this book here. I've hearing, been hearing good things about it. The next book is Lakewood. Megan Gideon, I guess that's how you pronounce her name. This got me just by the cover, I was like, oh, wow, I can't wait to read this either. The next book is From My Soul. This author I reached out to online, and she sent these bookmarks. Let me see. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. Why can I? Okay, there you go. And she also signed it to Robert. Live with love, and it's like a journal, journal, and I can't wait to read some of it. But it's like I said, it's mostly a journal, journal. So I look forward to that. This next author I got the chance to meet. Like I want to say I met this author three times last year. I met her at Indie Love, the Atlanta Kickback. And I also met her again at, um, oh my God, I'm having a brain freeze right now. Writers, Wine and Writers in November, which was hosted by um, Nina Forster and the lovely um, Jacinia Howard. And that's Nako. This is Carmen. This is part of a series. Actually, this is the third book. Very thick. The first one is Mahogany. The second one is Juice. And this is Carmen. And next up is Twisted Entrapment by Entice. He, we have Cairo, Dirty Heat. We have The New Middle. By Bernita Thomason. This next book is by an author who actually works at my job. 
I had no idea that he was an author. And one of my coworkers um, reached out to me. She was like telling him about me. And so he wanted me to read his book and do a review on, which the book doesn't come out to September, but he brought me a copy like two weeks ago um, as I was getting ready to leave to come home. And it's called Lies Behind the Woods. It's by Bradley Cornish. And it consists of a, two, a little over 200 pages. So I look forward to reading this to get my honest review. I love the cover. This next book is When the Cake is Made by Lisa Wu Hartwell. Uh, Misha, I don't know if she go by Hartwell now because they're no longer together. If you know Lisa Wu Hartwell, she was on the Atlanta Housewife. I do believe it was the first and the second season I want to say she was on. She wrote that with Misha, the author Misha. Next is up is The Old Man in the Club by Curtis Bond. Um, I got this Nibbian Bookstore, I want to say, for $5. Not bad at all. This next book was a book sent to me by an author who I previously did a book review on her book, The Lovely Mrs. B. Cartwright. And if you want to check her out, her book is called Sinking Sand. And I want to say it's a page turner. It's on Amazon. She's also on um, Instagram also, too. She sent me this as a surprise. I've been seeing this book all last year and been wanting to read it. It's, um, to my knowledge, I don't know what it, the book is about, but she also put this in here. For walk, for walk, for we walk by faith, not by sight. She put this in there too, and she also wrote me a, a nice little card. So I thank you again, Miss B. Cartwright. Very nice, lovely. But again, this book right here, I've been hearing great things about it. Like I said, I don't know what it's about, but I've seen the reviews, heard things about it, so I look forward to reading it also. This next book is a biography, and I cannot believe it's what we midway almost through 2020, and I have not yet first to read my first biography. But I look so forward to reading this Strength of a Woman by Phyllis. It's the Phyllis Hyman story. If you know about Phyllis Hyman, she was a very successful singer. Love, love her. I cannot wait to read this book. Last but not least, Anna Black, Now You Want to Come Back. And it's over 266 pages. That's just a third of my um, books that I have received. I'll be doing another book haul soon. I want to thank those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm also on Instagram. It's Robert's Reading Room. My Facebook group is Robert's Reading Room. And and reviews. Um, please check out my twin literary sisters, Diamond, um, Diamond members, Diamond Literary World. It's Radio Black Talk Radio. Also, the breakdown is her YouTube channel and Jonathan Roy's books, beauty, and stuff. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. If you have not, please feel free to do so. Until next time, happy readings and have a great day.